We can look for the far-off planets, asteroids, comets and other space activities with the help of human-made satellites and other objects that have been sent in space. Although there are many spacecraft, telescopes and rovers that have already been sent to space and other planets to observe the potential habitability of the outer worlds, NASA has now devised one of the greatest and magnificent space telescope that can outcompete Hubble. The Next Generation Space Telescope if you like our video then please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Gateway to Knowledge and look forward for the videos that would be waiting for you in the future. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, scheduled for launch in 2021 will probe the cosmos to uncover the history of the universe from the Big Bang to alien planet formation and beyond. It will focus on four main areas. First light in the universe, assembly of galaxies in the early universe, birth of stars and protoplanetary systems, and planets, including the origins of life. Because of this, the James Webb Telescope is called as the, the premier observatory of the next decade. The Webb will be a large infrared telescope with an approximately 6.5-meter primary mirror. It will launch on an Ariane 5 rocket from French Guiana, then take 30 days to fly a million miles to its permanent home, a Lagrange 2 Lira point or a gravitationally stable location in space. The powerful $8.8 .8 billion spacecraft is also expected to take amazing photos of celestial objects like the Hubble Space Telescope. As Hubble is still in good condition, it can be a valuable partner of the James Webb Telescope. This telescope will also look at exoplanets that the Kepler Space Telescope have found. All these things will only be possible if the instruments mounted on the James Webb Telescope works properly. But what are the instruments that the Webb Telescope will be loaded with so that it can provide us with huge amount of information? Several innovative technologies have been developed for Webb, these include a primary mirror made of 18 separate segments that unfold and adjust to shape after launch. The mirrors are made of ultra-lightweight beryllium. Webb's biggest feature is a tennis court-sized five-layer sunshield that attenuates heat from the sun more than a million times. The telescope's four instruments cameras and spectrometers have detectors that are able to record extremely faint signals. Webb will be able to see infrared light. This is light that is just outside the visible spectrum and just outside of what we can see with our human eyes. Webb's unprecedented sensitivity to infrared light will help astronomers to compare the faintest earliest galaxies to today's grand spirals and ellipticals, helping us to understand how galaxies assemble over billions of years. The telescope will be able to see right through and into massive clouds of dust that are opaque to visible light observatories like the Hubble Space Telescope. Inside those clouds are where stars and planetary systems are born. In addition to seeing things inside our own solar system, Webb will tell us more about the atmospheres of planets orbiting other stars, and perhaps even find the building blocks of life elsewhere in the universe. Webb will orbit the Sun a million miles away from Earth, at the place, called the second Lagrange point L2. The large sun shield gives the telescope the equivalent of SPF protection of 1 million. The sunshield also reduces the temperature between the hot and cold side of the spacecraft by almost 600 degrees Fahrenheit. But what are the instrument that the James Webb will be loaded with? Let's have a look at the major on-board instruments of the Webb Telescope. The James Webb Telescope will be equipped with four science instruments. The first camera is called as the near-infrared camera. This infrared camera will detect light from stars in nearby galaxies and stars within the Milky Way. It will also search for light from stars and galaxies that formed early in the universe's life. The cam will be outfitted with coronagraphs that can block a bright object's light, making dimmer objects near those stars visible. The second most important onboard instrument is near-infrared spectrograph. It will observe 100 objects simultaneously, searching for the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. The third instrument is called the Mid-Infrared Instrument. It will produce amazing space photos of distant celestial objects, following in Hubble's tradition of astrophotography. The spectrograph that is a part of the instrument 
will allow scientists to gather more physical details about distant objects in the universe. MIRI will detect distant galaxies, faint comets, forming stars and objects in the Cooper belt. Lastly, the fine guidance sensor and slitless spectrograph instrument is responsible for keeping the telescope pointed in exactly the right direction during its science investigations. It will also search out for the cosmos to find signatures of the first light in the universe and seek out and characterize alien planets. After the telescope lifts off from the launch site, there are a number of events it will undergo while it will reach its destination. In the first hour after its lift off, the Ariane rocket will provide thrust for a little over eight minutes. Webb will separate from the Ariane V launch vehicle after about half hour after launch, and then it will deploy the solar array immediately. In a quick series of connections, two hours later, the high gain antenna will get deployed. 12 hours after launch there will be the first trajectory correction maneuver by small rocket engines aboard Webb itself. All this event will happen within a day, after the telescope leaves the Earth. Following the first trajectory, the second trajectory correction maneuver will take place at 2.5 days after launch. After this a sequence of major deployment events will take place. After the deployment of the high-gain antenna, the telescope and the spacecraft bus will get deployed and move apart from each other by about 2 meters when the deployable tower assembly extends. The full sunshield deployment with unfolding and tensioning of the membranes can then be initiated. At six days, the deployment of the secondary mirror will occur, followed by the side wings of the primary mirror. Within the first month of its journey, the telescope will cool down in the shade of the deployed sunshield, and then the scientist will turn on the warm electronics and initialize the flight software. At the end of the first month, the scientist will revive their plans in order to make any correction that ensures that the web will achieve its final orbit around 2 lira. The integrated science instrument module, ISOM, will be warmed with electric heaters to prevent condensation of the instruments, as residual water trapped in the materials making up the observatory escapes to the vacuum of space. At 33 days after launch, the onboard camera will turn on and start to operate. The first image from the near-infrared spectrograph camera will start to work as the light gets through the telescope into the instruments. Since the primary mirror segments will not yet be aligned, the picture will still be out of focus. At 44 days after launch, the team will begin the process of adjusting the primary mirror segments, first identifying each mirror segment with its image of a star in the camera. And then they will begin focusing on the secondary mirror. From 60 to 90 days after launch, we will align the primary mirror segments so that they can work together as a single optical surface. By the end of the third month, the scientists are sure that they will be able to take the first science quality images. Also by this time, Webb will complete its initial orbit around 2 lira. After 85 days, the optimization of the will be completed, and then over a next half a month, the team will be able to optimize the first image from the other instruments. And after six months, the telescope will begins its science mission and start to conduct routine science operations. Presently, the launching of James Webb Telescope have been delayed for multiple times. But hope so that the telescope will launch soon and will explore more about our universe.